welcome back to Rayman. The swamp. Look at this. A frog in its natural habitat. Ooh, it jumped twice. A good sign. Two gamblers engaged in combat. Enemies to lovers, slow burn, 200 words. 200? That's not a slow burn. Is that not a slow burn? I don't know, man. I don't read fan fiction. I think the joke is usually like 500,000 words or something. 500,000? Oh my god, it was that kind of time. I think the longest work of fic of like literature in the world is actually like a Loud House fanfic right now. <laughs> that is incredible. What the yeah, fuck it's, also? It's, it's longer than the Bible. Jeez Louise. Or like a considerable amount. Uh, I think before that it was a Smash Bros fanfic. That is really cool. <laughs> That's actually very fun. Yeah. Man, I... Uh, oh, go on. No, I just wanted to say I love Rayman, blah, 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 you know how to deal. Yeah, yeah. Um, God, we're, like, it's just a Rayman play there. Like, are you going to stop talking about Rayman? Jeez. Ugh, when? Fucking when? 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 Okay. Um... Oh, I didn't actually know I could just walk around these guys without them noticing me. They're so, like, they're so engaged in that little game. Actually, you know what might be fun? Okay, so there's an ongoing joke with fanfic circles. Um, that... Fanfic authors will just go through the most insane shit of their lives, and they just don't even care. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Casually mentioned in, like, author's notes. So I'm gonna look up author's notes, uh, like, a compilation of it on, like, Tumblr. And, like, we can just read them off. <laughs> sure. That'll be fun. Author's notes are pretty funny. Like, yeah, my house blew up, but, you know, uh, I'll, I'll provide another version of the drafts of the next chapter in no time, guys. Don't worry, don't leave me. This you is all that. I have. You joked, that literally was one, though. Oh my god, of course. <laughs> Come hell... Okay, here. Alright, the Tumblr account is called Come Hell or High Water, they will write. Okay. Okay, so the, what, the pinned comment they have is... I know I said weekly updates, but I literally just got hit by a bus. Lol, whoops. I haven't proofread it, so apologies for any mistakes. <laughs> God, getting hit by a bus. I got hit by a car once. It's no fun. Skill issue. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> that came out meaner than it meant. No, it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that was my shock. Like, wow, you're funny? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh... <laughs> I sent the link, so... Awesome. Wait, do you want me to read the next one? Uh, you can if you want, it's up to you. I, <laughs> I can also just read them off and you react. No, I want to read one too. I want to I do one too. Let me see. Mm. Alright, what else you got? I'm just gonna scroll down to a random one. Mm -hmm. uh, so, no excuses for my absence and lack of content. I became a home owner, got a job, adopted a dog, and started living a stable adult life. Good for them. <laughs> yeah, just good for them. Like, one of the few rare, rare ones. I, I was expecting something horrible to happen, but it sounds really good. <laughs> yeah. I Excellent. must think about getting a dog. Doggy. <laughs> Dogs are cute. I don't think I would be able to take care of a dog, unfortunately. Ma- Mark, we're gonna live together eventually. I'm I'm gonna have a dog by then. I know. I mean, we'll be doing it together. I just mean like on my own. I I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't think I can do that. Okay. Uh. Already struggle enough with a single cat. Uh, Let's see. Oh yeah, I love these little enemies that just pop out of the holes and just chuck rocks at you. I don't, I don't know why they do it. They're just like, hey, look at that guy. We're gonna throw a rock at his nose, and I respect that. Fuck that guy in particular. Fuck that guy in particular, but specifically Rayman. They, they also kill some hoodlums, I think, in uh, some cutscenes, which is cute. They just live here, they don't want to be disturbed. <laughs> Boop, and we are back. Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that, I was gonna call my parents. Uh, we're gonna watch, like, Deadpool and Wolverine tomorrow. Yeah, um, fun. Me and Mark have watched both Deadpool movies together, uh, but I've never seen the other, like, R-rated uh, Wolverine movie or whatever. So yeah. I have no idea what happens in it. Well, there's three Wolverine movies. <laughs> which one do you want to know anything about? <laughs> Oh, yeah, the one that's called Logan. I think that's the one. Ah, yeah, okay, so... Uh, well, they do recap it quickly in uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Like, I already saw it, but... Um, it's... Uh, I don't know how much you want to know, because it's very spoilery, but I guess they spoil the whole thing in Deadpool and Wolverine anyway. Uh, if somebody doesn't want to get spoilers for Logan, uh, watch out. Woo, scary, scary, scary. 
I'm scaring them away now from the video. They have now left. PNG. Put up a PNG of a car spoiler as you put this. Car spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> sure thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so it, it's about um, it's set into the future, like Wolverine's still alive, but all the X-Men are gone. Well, almost all the X-Men are gone. Um, and he's just trying to survive with some other uh, leftover mutants, just a couple of them. And uh, he finds this kid, and this kid is apparently also a mutant, and they have to protect her uh, at all costs. And basically, even though Wolverine is normally like, he's, he's a very, like, Wolverine has seen a lot of pain in his life, and he's trying to run from things usually. But at the end, he like has to actually take a stand and help mutants and, and do something. Like that's, in a, in a nutshell, kind of what happens. Like it's about him uh, taking responsibility for this kid. And uh, like really fighting for the future of mutants, even though a lot of people he he loves have already passed on. So if it's in the future, then like how is Deadpool like hanging out with him? I don't know, actually. You know what? Now that I think about it, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It was it was kind of in the future. Yeah, because like Deadpool's in the present. Um, like I'm assuming Deadpool. I, I thought you said like you saw the movie like Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, but I can't answer that question. I don't know. Like, it's the whole timeline thing. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I, get, I, like, I guess, like, Deadpool doesn't care because, like, that is possible part of a joke. I, I'm assuming something like that. I don't know. It's weird. You know what? Well, I guess Deadpool and Wolverine also starts with a bit of a time skip. So maybe all that stuff just kind of happens. But I, it's, it doesn't feel like it fits. So I don't, just don't, don't ask questions. Watch movie. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. I don't no. know how to answer this. Don't ask me anything ever again. I just, I just really liked the beginning of Deadpool 2 that was like, fuck Wolverine, okay? And he just explodes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah. Like, he gets an R-rated movie, and now I have to get another one that's successful, too. And uh, everyone yeah. wants to talk about that. Uh, something like that. <laughs> something like that, yeah. It's very fun. Just the openings of Deadpool movies are so good. Like, they, they have this whole, like, uh, sort of, uh, whatchamacallit, like, um... James Bond opening spoof kind of thing in the second movie, where they're all doing like this elaborate dance and music and everything, and it's like very serious and dramatic. And then the first movie has like this this car chase where uh, Deadpool is like just <laughs> kicking a guy in his face with his balls. It's just so fun. And uh, the third movie is no exception. I don't want to spoil that, but it's so it's so fun. The opening, it's incredibly cool. I, I that makes I'm glad about that because I was also worried because I don't think it was. Um... I'm pretty sure, like, timeline-wise, it probably was not being written during the writer Strike. Uh, you know, I was a little concerned. Like, was it, or was it started being filming during the writer Strike? I think it started filming during the writer Strike, okay. which meant that they couldn't, like, do improv or something? I've, I've read something about that, but I don't know if it's true. Okay. Uh, what I'm glad about, and also I'm glad that they kept the R rating, um, uh, even after being adopted by, uh, Disney. So that's nice. Yeah, indeed. So, is it is? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. No, I just wanted to point out I had some trouble with this enemy here. Like, because I shrunk it first with the green power up, and then for some reason it was very hard to, like, hit it with, like, a side shot kind of thing. I don't know what's, what was going on with this. It, uh, it took me a couple tries, so that's why I'm just blasting away at this flipping tree thing here. What did you want to say? Uh, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. All right, I think I ended up just not bothering with this guy, and I just left. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, if, if you shrink them, I think their hitbox becomes smaller too, so it's just very hard to hit them when they're hiding behind something. So I ended up just not doing that, so I think I just left. Yeah. Yep, De there we De go. Deadpool's a funny guy. Deadpool uh, is a funny guy. I really like Domino's design, like, in the second film. I think it looks really neat. It's very different from yeah. the comics, but, like, I think it works. Yeah, she looks really cool. Unfortunately, yeah. none of these other characters just went anywhere, you know. But uh, hey, that's how it goes. Oh, they don't. Oh, she doesn't show up in the third film. Um, if you want a spoiler, minor spoiler, yeah. Uh, no, she doesn't show up at all. Oh come on. Yeah, it's a very different kind of story. It's very, it's very separate from the other movies, but it is, it is like a continuation in terms of themes. Okay. Um. So, like, is it a direct sequel, or do you think it's more like a spin-off thing? Gosh, it almost kind of feels like a spin-off, but, uh, because it is just set in such a very different kind of setting. Hmm. Yeah, okay, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, okay, okay. I guess, technically speaking, it's not called Deadpool 3, it's called Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, uh, true, true. There's just a lot of focus on both of those characters, and not really much else. <laughs> yeah, when are we gonna get a Deadpool and Spider-Man movie? That would be really fun, but I don't see that working with Tom Holland Spider-Man. I don't know. Well, I not just... with Tom Holland Spider-Man. I mean, like, I don't know. 
<laughs> they bring in fucking Spider Verse Spider Man. Oh, dude, like, that would be really fun. <laughs> yeah, like 30 year old one. <laughs> I could see that happening. That would be really fun. Also, welcome yeah. to Luigi's Mansion. This is a very unique kind of level where you get to roam this, uh, like, just open mansion. You just get to explore all these rooms, and you have to fight this guy who shows up every now and then. You have to chase him around, hide behind his statues, and, uh, you can just see, like, all the animals he hunted, basically. Cool. Yeah, hunting animals is based. Come on, let's go! Every time, every time. Okay. <laughs> I'm Sonic the Hedgehog, and hunting animals is awesome! Grab your rifle, come on! There's elephants to shoot. If they're bigger, they're a better target. Uh, if we want to bring back to the AO3, the author notes and stuff. Um, uh -huh. One of the notes is like, Hello, my lovely. Sorry I haven't updated in a while. I was in the mental hospital. Oh. So, oh. I'm <laughs> stick out face. I hope they're doing better. Yeah, probably. I mean, I went to the mental hospital and I was doing better afterwards. Yeah. It's gonna help. I don't... What the fuck was the camera doing there? <laughs> Sometimes, no, it's just sometimes you need help, and it's very good to get that help when you need it. To call out for help, reach out for that. Yeah, if, if anyone's worried about like going to psych ward or whatever, relax. They're not going to strap you down. Okay, that never happened to me. Uh, they only strap you down if like if you're going to be a, a risk to yourself or anyone else. And even yeah. that, it's not going to be like, permanent. You're not going to be put into a padded cell with a straight straight jacket. Yeah, no, I presume things are a little different from like '80s movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, also just because better mental health over the years. Um, yeah. And more understanding in there and all that. Indeed. Uh, another note. I am so sorry. This is all capital letters. I am so sorry this took too long. I was in a car wreck and school has been crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. That, I, I'm, it's just amazing that they mention both of those in the same breath. <laughs> like, as if they're both as severe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like, pretty amazing. Uh, okay, I feel like one of... I feel like if you're gonna bring them both up, you should probably ramp it up in intensity. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> but you know what? I don't know. Maybe SETs are worse than car wrecks. Film fuel. I can Who do knows? That. Who knows? It's uh, God. I love how this mansion flipping looks. Like we just passed like the stained glass window, and it's so pretty. Like how did they do this on flipping GameCube? Such a nice looking game. Still so pleasant. Ugh. I like Rayman. Did you know that? Welcome back to Digital you know Gaming. I like Rayman. Thank you for watching Digital you know Gaming. <laughs> Right, Don't then. forget to check out our Patreon. What are you? Where are you going with this bit, dear? I'm just doing a very quick Digino Gaming episode. I'm auditioning. Not, I hope they call me back. They're not going to, dear. I think you need to. <sighs> and for that matter, I'm sorry. I'm going to crush your dreams. Another one. Uh, you're not going to be featured in a Scott the Waz video. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. But 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 I can I can move to Ohio. I can relocate. <laughs> no. I'll do anything dear. for this job. Please. No, dear, you just, it's not, it's nothing to do with location, it's just, you know, you're not funny, it's the problem. But I, I have a Wii U, I'm perfectly qualified for this shit. Yeah, but like, can you, t yeah, but like, I don't know, man, I don't know. I, I was good, I don't know enough about Scott the Waz to continue making this bit. <laughs> but I was just thinking, I only, the only thing I know is that one time you showed me a picture, this like video where he was like, uh, shoddily, they, they tied him to a table, but it wasn't actually tied up at all. Like, it was just, like, ropes thrown on him. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I love those videos where he's just doing dumb shit with his friends. That was the... Yeah. I think it was probably the, the compilation of, like, the, the bad therapist that he had, like, in the show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so fucking funny. Yeah, he showed me that bit, like, that, that was like, oh, What is with this guy? Yeah, or when he says something like, uh, like the therapist, this, this episode is gonna be me quoting Scott the Waz, I guess, but, uh, <laughs> when he says something like, You're insane! You're mental! That's the worst thing a therapist can say to me. No, no, you're flipping crazy, and I don't work with people who have mental problems. <laughs> you're a therapist. <laughs> that makes me chuckle every time. Uh, man, this episode has all AO3 and mental health crises. It's great. It's great. They usually go hand in hand anyway. Now we just need a car crash. Somebody of us needs to die in a car crash. Uh, volunteers? Not me. I prefer not to, to be honest. <sighs> Lame. I'm you sorry, I, do... can't... I can't take someone for a team, I'm sorry. Uh, you don't want to do anything for me. Nope. Bogus. Well... Also, I forgot what I was doing here. I think I was waiting for a particular idle animation to show up. So I might just be standing here, like a doofus, for like two minutes straight. 
back to AO3, like I just saw one. I, yeah. I made and ate the worst yes. grilled cheese known to man earlier, and I'm going to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> Valid reason. Don't worry. We've all been there. Actually, I've never fucked up a grilled cheese. Not even once in my life. No, I hold on. There, there was one time, actually, I just remembered. I definitely fucked one up beyond all recognition. Its own family <laughs> did not recognize it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, another one. Sorry for not updating you guys. A friend of mine were from where I used to live shot him, shot himself, and I was in super mega shock. Anyway, enjoy the silly smiley face. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh no! I'm assuming the person's okay by the reaction, but Jesus. Oh God! Holy shit! Oh yeah, I just wanted to show off some cool idle animations. Like, there's also a different one for this mirror. Like, uh, specifically only at this mirror thing. Uh, if you stand still as Rayman, he starts checking his teeth for stuff. Anyway, he just does this first, and then he checks his teeth because he notices there's something in there. <laughs> Very cute. Just the, the attention to detail in this game is adorable. Yeah, I uh, like those like the little auto animations that give personality. Yes, they're so fun. The Raven is such a goofball. Also, there's the statue that we just passed over here uh, of Sam the Snake, but there's like two Sam the Snakes, so I don't know what that means. Like a lot of people say, like, oh, well, Sam's dead. He got he, just, he got shot, and then he put him up here as a statue. But like, there's two. It doesn't make any sense. Also, why specifically Sam? I don't want him to be dead. He's my favorite funny little guy from Rayman 2. I don't want him to die. And with that, uh, we'll call this an episode. Goodbye, everyone. No. Oh. Three more minutes. I'm gonna speedrun this flipping boss, because apparently I flipping aced this no, one in three minutes. I wanted to end it on despair, okay? Like, God, <laughs> you not know how these episodes have gone? No, no. This time, we're gonna end it on a positive note somehow, and we have three minutes to mentally prepare for this. Okay, just don't think of every terrible thing that could ever possibly happen in the world and like everything that is currently happening in the world and you'll be good. Yeah, just don't don't think about like, uh, you know, wars, uh, flipping, death, famine, um, violence, what, violence uh, you the fact- to do laundry later on today because you keep forgetting to do it. And yeah. Like fold your damn laundry, come on now, it's, you're an embarrassment. Um, I don't think about- my, Actually, I don't fold my laundry, I just like people- I just put it in a basket, like the ones that are clean. I yeah, I also, I also just kind of, um, uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, people always say like, oh, you get wrinkles. It's gonna get wrinkled anyway by wearing it. Uh, I suppose so. Yeah, uh, go on. I don't know where I was going with this. I was just gonna list a whole <laughs> bunch of terrible things. Just horrible, awful things. I mean, we've already talked about AO3. Like, do we need to, like, go beyond that? Really? <laughs> I want to write my own fanfiction someday. I think I would do a pretty good job. I write for a living, so hey. Uh, would it be on Rayman? Sure. Why, did you, why didn't you give me a topic? Uh... Well, it should be about bleep, 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 and bleep. Rayman in the robot universe where everybody makes bleep noises. This is genius! <laughs> that was actually meant to be a censored sound, but okay. Oh, really? Yeah, the term uh, for like you know, those hard beeps you hear in. I, uh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> That's fair. That'll teach me to use fucking sarcasm on an autistic person. <laughs> oh yeah. So anyway, here's the horrible lady again, um, and she's gonna get it on with this the flipping guy. So oh, um, this is uh, normal. And they all Raymond's stand there and watch. <laughs> Raymond's a cuck? Oh my god, we brought up all pickles. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why are you guys all watching? <laughs> Just leave. Point of view. There's These are our, right this is our audience. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? There's an exit right behind him. You can see, like, the way out. Oh, well. They're enjoying it. Stop, stop, stop kick shaming them. Anyway, on that note, <laughs> we fucked up. There's no positive notes. The end. <laughs> Suffering is eternal. Yep, bye. I love you. Die. <laughs>